We're gonna go ahead and spray paint the rest of this completely black. Let's go do that. Hey man, the paint job in this one's way better than the last one. Remember the last one was all blotchy and stuff? Oh yeah. This one's nice and smooth and boom. Oh, well, it looks pretty sharp. Yeah, man, it is really sharp. That's a perfect line right there. And now, dude, here we go. Officially complete. Moderate fan blade, dude. <laughs> What up, Brett Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys are, do you know the drill? Moderate vision flip. Ha, it's about to get a, it's about okay. It's about to get a whole lot brighter. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> flip. There we go. It's a lot better. It's about to get a whole lot brighter because your boy is here. And today, guys, we are going to be working with the L'Oreal Legend, Madara. Okay, and it's going to be an awesome day because you guys remember a while ago on ADHD's Life, I built my own Madara site. <laughs> But if you remember that, it got significantly grossified. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> immediately. Do you remember, we found it in the garage at my mom's place, and we thought, oh, maybe it can come in the animated room, maybe. <laughs> and then you look at it, and it was just like, it looked like everybody at a county fair had take their turn spitting on it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be making an official moderate scythe for our collection, because the first one was made with a lot of specifications to be exclusively a weapon, and I didn't really care how it looked, because it was about using its functionality on world, but today, I'm gonna to be trying to make a scythe that is equally as awesome, but way closer in visual appeal to moderate scythe, and it's gonna be going in the room today. I mean, come around here. We got all types of stuff in this room. I mean, we got attack on Titan blades. I mean, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Uh, come, coming on what? Don't you come on anything, bro. The, this is my room, and I paid a lot of money for these things. You just told me to come on, bro. If I turn on the black light, I see anything in here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rubbing your face in it. So we have the Tech on Titan sword. I mean, we've got freaking Sasuke swords over here. We even have a high quality one inside of here. I even have the biggest of big. We got Zabuza's blade. But one of the most key items in Naruto has to be moderate sight. And I don't got it in here. I don't got it. And actually, this spot right here, where we've been saving a lot of the uh, Hirohashira blades and whatnot, this is the section where moderate sight was originally supposed to go. I wanted to have him right here by the Akatsuki sign. But I didn't have moderate sight, so I just went ahead and put, you know, for some reason, like, Legend of Zelda. I love Legend of Zelda, and it kind of fits the anime vibe. I'll probably have to move that over here somewhere. But this is where Madara Scythe is going to go right here. But first off, we gotta get started on making that. Let's go check out our pieces and get started on that project. All right, so you see this big box right here. This is what's gonna contain our Madara's fan, okay? It's very, very fragile, but it's more than fragile. It's Chinese fragile. Chinese fragile is 50% less integrity than America's fragile. Our fragile is way based off emotion. All right, so with the first Madara Scythe, I had to use a metal chain because obviously I was gonna be swinging around everywhere slashing with it I needed it to be shrunk and not just that they didn't sell a chain to connect it but this one supposedly does so let's see what we got here flip this open we got a lot of styrofoam but underneath here should be our fan blade oh right there dude that thing is clean we got the shouting gun logo right there we got the other one over here I mean that might as well be the Uchiha logo and then here it is we got the chain too so remember we had to use a metal chain this one's way more like you know you know, visually, aesthetically close to Madara's chain that goes to his site. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and get this part out. Oh, dude. That looks it, really good. Yeah, it has that like, you know that. How is like every ninja, like in the ninja world in Naruto, the color white doesn't exist. It's just like this off white. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like look at the TV right now, it's Google, that's white. But this is Naruto white. It's like a beige-ish like ninja, like off white. And it's like so awesome though. Yeah, because it's not like, oh, that's gonna get dirty. It's like, oh no, this is designed to get dirty. Oh, this has been dirty before. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but we have the handle right here. This goes all the way to the top, leaving none of that PVC visible, which was actually the problem with the other one. And we have our chain piece right here. Um, I don't know, I don't know my voice cracks, but you know, I'm also 26 and I can't stand it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything, but since you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> we have the chain right here. It looks freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm talking gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have this piece, and it looks like all we have to do is put the cap. Oh, dude. Wait, that's no cap. No, this is cap. <laughs> okay. You think I'm making a, a weapon by making a replica? Okay. But dude, look at the chain. It actually links up the same way Madara's does. That's so much cooler than the way they designed it the first time. But the fan blade, though, man. The that fan. Looks so good. That. Oh, it looks so good. 
god! <laughs> oh, I feel like sexual temptation. Like <laughs> <laughs> moderate. <laughs> My god, that is sexy. Okay, so where does this piece go on? I guess it would go on right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. So now all we have to do is link this to a scythe. Yeah, man. Wait, I'm so thinking. Isn't that scythe not included? The scythe is not included, but you know who has scythes? Uh, Grimmer. My homie, Home Depot. Oh, some people just call him Homie Depot. <laughs> Nobody calls him that. All right, so I got this new Alexa. Check this out. Watch. Ask anything. Hey Alexa, what's today's date? It's Monday, June twenty eighth. Oh, I didn't do it right. She's a little disrespectful, but she she gets the answer. <laughs> She'll cut you off. Just like, what, what, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> but you can ask it anything. Ask it something. Why do I need to know that while I'm driving? You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, the thing. Watch. Like, this. how useful is it? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I guess you don't really. Oh, you know what, dude? One second. Hey Alexa, what time does Home Depot close? What? The Home Depot La Mirada is open today from one. 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. See. You think they're really close <laughs> in the middle of the day? Well, if we didn't have Alexa, we would. No, would we? We would. We would have gone, and we would have walked in like any other normal I person. I wouldn't have taken a step. <laughs> if she would have said, "Oh, I'm not sure, Marcus." Hey, you know what? You're not sure. We'll come back another day. What's up, right back? What? <laughs> <laughs> now that we're good. Uh, so we're going to, to the Home Depot right now to grab spray paint. We need to grab something to link that chain. And we also got to get something maybe to help keep it up on the wall. I don't know about that yet, how we're going to display it yet. But we're going to go there and look and see what they got. All right, we made it to the Home Depot. And we're here to pick up some bad bitches and, and some, some nails. And some other stuff, like the basic things that we need. Okay, so we got these right here. These hold 160 pounds each, bringing it to a grand total of 320 pounds of holdage. And then we also got some black spray paint flat and we got some matte black clear coat. This is literally all we're gonna need to finish up moderate scythe. And of course, we got the big guy in the back and that's the scythe. All right, so the scythe is here, guys. We got everything here. You guys remember this scythe from the last time. This one should be the same, hopefully. Should be the perfect size. All right, so we have moderate fan blade right here, man. I already have to say just that is a display piece alone. I mean, having the Itachi and you know, Sasuke behind it just kind of hopes and encapsulate a little bit more. Oh, but yeah. this string is way better than the chain one, right? Oh yeah. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna, this technically this site, the way it works is it should be these two pieces. I never showed this in the original video and this is why I never showed the process of building it. Well, so I didn't want somebody to replicate it because it's a weapon, but you could replicate this exact same way and just use a non-sharp blade and apply the same things. So this should be in two pieces like this and normally you would attach it right here in the middle and then you have this awesome like Donatello baton type thing. We don't need this. You normally put the scythe on the end here. So we're gonna break this all the way in half. So we're gonna use just the top part and we're gonna separate this from the rest. What we're gonna do first though is we're gonna go ahead and get out Madara's scythe piece and attach it to the top. And then from there, we're gonna have to make this piece look a little bit more like Madara's. All right, so we have these rusty screws. I literally have no clue why every single time this company sends one of these scythes, it has like this peculiar fluid. If that's a description for anything, you shouldn't buy it. We're gonna go ahead and grab the screws out of that peculiar fluid. Oh man, I don't know why it's in these rusty, dusty. So we're gonna go ahead and put the scythe on right now. Okay, the scythe has been built. <laughs> I have a long blade. Yes, they use this in the afterlife retirement homes as a pickup stick. <laughs> but this thing is absolutely this thing is really sharp, as you guys can tell. I mean, we're not doing any full testing here, but I just want to show you guys, it is sharp. It is a real sight. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to make something to mount this on to here. So if you guys wanna pick up any of this stuff, this right here, this site, you can find on Amazon, you can find on eBay, you can find on MedievalDepot.com. And the site itself, or the fan blade itself, you can only find through certain sellers on Alibaba and also eBay, and they're very limited quantity, but all you need is these two pieces, or you can find any fake Halloween Grim Reaper site and attach it the same way and it'd be an awesome cosplay. I'm gonna go ahead and use a real one because I am your boy. All right, so we have everything that we need to complete moderate site here. So what we're gonna do is we need this piece right here to attach it to our site. With the chain one, I had to get a chain link to link it on there because this one's gonna be on display. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this string right here, I'm gonna loop it through the bottom piece right here, and I'm gonna tie it in a knot. And boom, so now we have it tied on with this bead, so it kind of blends in perfectly just like that. And again, this is like, you know, it's the string, but I'm not gonna be tugging on it super hard. But now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scythe right here, and we're gonna measure in how far our scythe hole is. You could get a screw if you can find one, you could get 
get a piece like this that fits into the back hole perfectly right there and that would be golden. But what we're gonna do for today is we're gonna fast forward it and we're gonna put it right here and we're gonna put it through and we're gonna link it through on the bottom because also that would be more secure because you're holding it all the way through and we're gonna tighten it in the back with the nut just like this. And you could use these ones as well which is just a screw in one. But either way you're gonna need a drill just to get that first divot into it before you put it in. All right, so what we're gonna do is use the drill and see if we can just do it with just the divot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a small, like not a full hole, but just a little marking in it. Okay, so we're gonna have a little divot right there. And now that we have that little divot, we're gonna go grab our screw piece and see if we can actually screw it in, because that'll give it the strongest hold rather than if we drill a hole through and then screw it in, it's gonna be going through a spacing rather than a full solid piece of wood. But this isn't the final product. We're still gonna paint this thing because it's not like moderate. Moderate is actually fully black on the handle. I just wanna make sure that all we have going on here is gonna work. Go ahead and hold the fan with the other hand if you can. Damn, the bars. Hold the other fan with your hand if you can, man. Damn. Man. <laughs> So it looks like it's screwing in there pretty good. Uh, you know what I should have done? What we're probably gonna do is have to take the loop out because if I twist it, it's gonna twist the string at the same time. But what we need to do is screw this in and this is just gonna take a lot of pressure, like a whole bunch of pressure. And it's working, so I'm not gonna continue to keep doing it because I see it's working. I know that's gonna work now. I know the fan blade's good. Now we just need to paint the actual little blade itself. All right, so next thing we have to do is we're gonna paint this part of the handle. Even though I do like the rustic wood color, you could leave it like that if you want to, but for me, I wanna make this all black just like Madara is. And we got the satin paint, we got the matte paint, so it's gonna look nice and sleek too. So what we're gonna do is, I, have, I don't have painter's tape with me, but if you have painter's tape, it would be better. You're gonna go ahead and cut it off right here because this is painted with the actual size paint that's baked on. So we don't wanna cover that because that's gonna be way more solid than what we're actually putting on. And that's gonna be our handle, so it doesn't really matter. But let's just keep that the way it is. And I'm gonna use this tape right here in order to cover that entire metal piece. So when we paint it, there's not gonna be any risk of something coming out on top of it. Okay, and then once we have it all the way around, we are good. So this is gonna cover, like I said, that metal piece right there. Me and Parker have been painting quite a bit for you know for a while now so i think we should be safer in this area but we're gonna go ahead and spray paint the rest of this completely black let's go do that hey man the paint job on this one's way better than the last one. remember the last one was all blotchy and stuff oh yeah this one's nice and smooth let's flip it over to this side and let's finish this side up yeah black it up black.com <laughs> i'm so hardcore my paint's even black Blacker, more opaque. Okay, a significant amount of time has passed, and now we need to add on the matte clear. Okay, I don't know what's the point of it if it's matte and it's also clear, but it's middle my hands don't get sticky when I touch all the blackness. All right, here we go. Are you spray anything? It's matte. No, it's just so clear. I, I still don't even know. You know what my favorite thing is about the Ninja War is like the first, first like takeoff. You know when Madara's you know waiting at the end. They're in this land of wind, and you know Madara's just standing there, and then you see the whole army gearing up. You know they're all stretching, getting their gear. And Make sure the knives are sharp and they all take off. We gotta all get a moment of silence. Take a second for this guy. He was the first one. He was the dumbass. <laughs> Can you imagine being the guy who's like, I know I've never been in the show. I know I've never been like notably for having some kind of cool power. This is my moment. Forget about that guy, moment of silence, he got his moment. There's as much notability as he probably ever is gonna get. But I appreciate you for being a pawn. Okay, let the light adjust. Has the light adjusted, Parker? It is adjusting currently. Okay, I'm no longer Wesley Snipes Black, and I am Normal Marcus Black. That's not my middle name, but that would be sexy. Normal Marcus Black? No, just Marcus Black. <laughs> Normal Marcus Black. <laughs> That's my father. <laughs> <laughs> That's my father, I was dropped on my head. <laughs> but this thing is looking smooth, and I love the Ooh. paint we did, dude. It came out perfect. Like, it's not too oh. glossy. It's not glossy at all. It's that matte Naruto, like, worn look, you know? That is absolutely perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this tape to see if we did a good job on painting and make sure that our paint is perfectly on the line. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and attach this to our fan blade. All right, so this is the tape that we put there earlier and that's what I was trying to tell you guys. As you can see, the tape completely guarded this from getting taint painted at all and that's what we're looking for. And boom. Oh, Alex, well, looks pretty sharp. Yeah, man, it is really sharp. That's a perfect line right there. I mean, we got a little couple nicks here on the blade, but we even got a couple nicks down here on the blade. So that is perfect. It just makes the whole blade part look more Worn. I mean, Madara is using this. It's gonna get damaged. It's gonna get a little bit worn. He's gonna sharpen it back up, and it might look clean, but it's gonna have a couple of little scrapes and bruises from the last battle. <laughs> but is, uh, we have the scythe done. So now what we have to do is screw in our screw piece. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is, like I said, guys, we only made a divot here, so this is gonna be super, super secure. All right. So that's as far as I can get my fingers. 
All right, now we have it all the way through. We want to make sure it's right there, perfect, just like that. And again, guys, if you guys want to have it attached from the bottom, you guys can. For me, I actually kind of want my attached from the side because it's going to look sick when it's sitting there. It's going to come from behind it. Ooh, so we yeah. have it just like that. Now we're going to go get our fan blade and then we're going to attach the two. Okay, so now we're going to retie this back onto here now that we have everything good. And boom, tie that on, perfect. And now, dude, here we go. Officially complete, Moderus fan blade, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a beautiful combination right there, guys. I absolutely love it. I say we go into the anime room, put on a little costume for fun. I don't have Madara's costume, we put on one for fun, a Naruto-inspired one. And then we're gonna put this in the collection. All right, so we're looking for something to go with this Moderus fan blade. I do not have Moderus cosplay, but what do you think about this? Ooh, okay. Little fourth Okage steez. Uh, little fourth Okage drift. That looks sick. I just don't think that fits. I don't think it fits. How about we go with the little bit of shit? No. <laughs> like yeah, but at the same time, like Shino. No, just just Shino. Okay. How about a little Itachi? This isn't a you just in your Sasuke, it's your Itachi. She's your pain, your Itachi, your Toby. That's just sick. Like, it's, yeah, it's sick. But it, you know what? It reminds me of Hidan. Oh yeah, he has a scythe though. Yeah. Okay. How about a little? How about a little? A little Orochi. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. I'm like, what the heck is it's that? Orochi Maru's belt. No, no, no. Okay. Probably not. How about this? I think it worked. All right. So we got this jacket vest on. We're gonna put this on, and we're going to put a headband on. And we're gonna call it a day. I think that might be perfect. We could. I want to try it with the Costco. Costco won't be that much work to put on. We could try it, and we can see what looks better. Is it this or the Akasuka? This is like what's your? What is this here? Chunin jacket or Genin? That's literally what I was about to ask. I don't even know that. I, that kind of looks like a Chunin, Chunin jacket to me. Chunin exams. All right, so we got the vest on, looking good. Let me put my headband on first. That's important. That's very important. Okay, so what village do you belong to? I used to belong to something very important. <laughs> All right, we'll put headband on. Okay, while you're doing that, I'll ask this. Based off your personality type, where do you think you would actually belong in oh. the in the, the lore? I gotta go with, I think because it's like the same thing. I'm not even just saying this, like, because it's like the most popular one, but the same way, like when I took my Harry Potter quiz, I got Gryffindor. I'm pretty sure I'd be the Leaf Village. Okay. I got, you know, good general pride overall. Really <laughs> care about people. Okay. You know? So we got Moderus family. I don't know, man. I don't know if the Junine jacket is what, is what works with it. What I'm saying is that there could be a character that, like, has this weapon. You know what I mean? All right, let's try the Akatsuki one. I think that's going to work a whole lot better. Hey, it took me seven months to fit into this shirt. The hell is that? Who? Who wears this? Who wears this band aid looking Uchiha this jacket? This is Sasuke shirt. You just can't tell because like I told you, Naruto white doesn't exist. No way. It's in this room. It looks really beige, but if you look at it with the belt and everything, his, his stuff is actually beige. I was kind of the same thing. I was like, wow, it's really beige. But then when you watch the show and you look at it, it's just because everything around it is so contrasting. It's just like, oh, that must be white. I think the Katsu Coke might be our best bet. I'm looking around here. By the way, you should probably just know this. You're like the only person I know, the person who owns cloaks. Yeah, of course you gotta have cloaks, man. I'm your cloak guy. I even have cloaks that are not even character related. You gotta have have cloaks. All right, this one's a lot better because we could actually cover up a lot of my outfit too. Dude, this is already sicker. Okay, so we have the Akatsuki cloak on. By the way, you have to have perfect posture. Yeah, always. All right, this works way better. I'm already seeing it, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought maybe it could have worked. With, I mean, it, it, I would say it still does, but this works better. Yeah, much, much significantly better. Did you look like Hidan? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we have it ready. We have it officially now. Moderus fan blade. I wish I had Moderus cosplay. Maybe we'll get that one day in the future, but I think it's only time that we add it to the collection. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and add it right here. We're gonna move this stuff out the way though. I'm gonna take this Akatsuki cloak off because it's 84 degrees in here. I don't tell you that when you sign up. You didn't tell me that when I walked in here. <laughs> Listen, hey man, you're gonna have to wear this Akatsuki cloak even when it's a hot, 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 okay? Now let's move this stuff out the way. I think it's gonna look perfect right there, man. I also think it's gonna look perfect. Right there, man? Right there, man. Let's go, dude. All right, so here we go. That spot is clean, man. I think we put the blade right here to block Zenitsu's feet. And you think the blade should go this way? The blade should go that way, so that way no one gets stabbed on the way in. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. 
Right there, dude. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that like brought the whole room together. It really did, actually. Yeah, because it was like this one little part where you're like, oh yeah, Legend of Zelda's cool too. It has nothing yeah. to do with the room. <laughs> yeah. But then now you're like, oh damn. This looks exactly how he presented if that was in some sort of anime museum. Yeah, man, that's so perfect. It's stuck in the ground. I know it seems a little dangerous being stuck in the ground, but you gotta remember who you're f***ing with. I know I've, there's blades everywhere in this place, so I, I look out for this kind of stuff. And not just that, I mean, the tip's down. And that like looks so sick, like the, uh, it's almost like it's stuck in the carpet. All right, let's go ahead and get a shot from this side to this side so we can get the whole encapsulator. Cause I think like from this angle where I'm standing right now, the best angle. You see what I'm talking about? You see how much better it looks from over there? Yes, like sir. it perfectly blends into the room, man. I really like said, I love that Legend of Zelda stuff there, but this did it, man. That was like a perfect piece to add there. One of my dreams to be able to get would be heat on sight. There's a spider up there. I'll use my scythe to kill that later. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and check out this video screen right here, which is the last epic anime video on this channel. You can watch all these videos over here, and it'll put you on a playlist. I've pretty much all stuff in this room you guys are seeing. We've done videos on absolutely almost every single thing in here. So if you see something you like or if you're just interested in more content, click on this video right here. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios.